Book Species 7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at a brand new release called Cry Mira. This is by a Russian developer, and, uh, well, I have played around with it a little bit, and this is a really good game. It is a RPG-type survival game. As you can see, you can zoom in and get a little better look at your characters and such. This is, uh, your character. Not really any customization that can be done, although you can pick a character name. Um, if you click on them, we can go up here, and we can actually uh, throw any sort of original uh, naming in there you want. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, don't have any sort of weeping at the moment, so... There you go. You can also get to that by pressing I as in inventory. All right, so let's uh, talk to this fella. Uh, oh, and one thing, a little word of warning. The dialogues in here, there's no voice acting, so nobody's going to scream obscenities at you. But the dialogue in here can, uh, well, it is obviously adult intended. So this is Kifa. You know, man, it's really no fun just to stand here in the sun waiting for you. We had a deal not to be late. And there he is, strolling around. Come on, go check the traps, then I'll take you to the bay. I ain't got much time. I still need to go mullet fishing. Okay. And the people in the village are waiting, too. Um, can't see any traps. Can you give me a hint where they are? Can't look for yourself. Maybe you could do it together. Ah, uh, whatever. Sure, I'm on it. Uh, look, man, they usually set up traps in different places, but they definitely don't set them up next to the shore. It's kind of funny, if you actually uh, had picked the last dialogue where it says, can you help me figure out where they are, he would have said this exact same thing. <laughs> um, okay, I'll be back soon. You can reach a point where, uh, well, at, <laughs> at one point I didn't seem to be able to get any sort of reaction out of him, so uh, I give him a smack in the head. A uh, piece of advice? <laughs> Don't do that. The guy will kick your butt. <laughs> all right. Little gear means there's something worth looking at. We're going to take all of this. And uh, we're going to go back to our inventory here for a moment. And this is a weapon. So we're going to equip it. And all we need to do is actually just simply uh, do that. While we're here, let's have a look. We have sort of our normal strength, health, agility, perception, erudition. Hmm. Improves your speech education. Okay, that's like charisma, I guess. Oh, and stealing. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, we're currently level one, nothing here, blah, blah, blah. But we have seven points, and, uh... All right, well, I'm going to definitely go with this, because it gives you more action points. And some extra health is always good. We'll give us some extra strength. And the last point we'll spend on sharp shooting. Um... We get two points here. This is passives, eh? Heart of a dog. Medication lack is not what you care about. Huh? Each time entering a new location, you get additional health points. Hmm. I'm not really sure what the heck's with that. This is fairly simple, though. This helps you dodge, so I'm going to throw my two available points in there. And click OK. Alrighty, let's carry on. Um... Another thing one might say about the game, well, two things. One, sometimes you run, and sometimes you don't. I thought for a minute there I saw the simple change. And I'm not really sure what the uh, particulars are on what makes you run and what doesn't. Oh, by the way, if you're actually looking for traps, a little bit of early game advice here, there actually isn't any. So yeah, you can wander around here. There we go. Now all of a sudden he decides he can run. And it is a much better way to get around, believe me. Now, as I said, I have had a quick look at this game, so I'll take you up to where we're going. Now ordinarily I would think things like this are searchable, but because this is sort of just the uh, opening, I wouldn't say it's a tutorial, because that's the other thing. If you want a game that holds your hand and explains anything about what they want you to do, I don't really think this is it. Let's go talk to this fella. Oh, okay, he didn't blow our heads off. Good sign. All right, got questions? What's going on here? What are you doing here, bitch? Get the... Oh, okay. No, just wandering. All righty, let's go with a what's going on here. You need to talk to the officer. I'm not authorized to communicate with civilians. 
not authorized. <laughs> okay. Again, the dialogues here are uh, very adult oriented. So, uh, avert your eyes or your ears or, yeah, you look like an officer. Hey, man, where are you from? <laughs> That's officer speak for you. Does it really matter? I'm not messing around, so don't mess with me neither. I live in Bukta. I came here to check the traps. What the F do you care, bitch? Okay, I think we'll go with this one. Um, don't forget to pick up traps and unused mines. Um, there aren't any, like I said at the moment. These tips down here, they're kind of like the tips you see in a lot of games during loading screens. They're really, really good advice, but they mean absolutely nothing at the moment you see them. So, anyway. Um, we're going to go with uh, I Live in Bukta. Alright, forget the traps. Tars are coming, a lot of them. And within a day or so, they will be in your village, robbing, killing, raping everything that moves. And believe me, if you don't manage to take your tribe to a safe place, pretty soon you'll be praying to die before they start eating you. Okay. Who the hell are Tars? Uh, or I guess this is what the army is for, to save us all in such cases. <laughs> well, that would sort of make sense, but I don't know if I really want to be lipping the boy off. I have nothing but a set of brass knuckles, and he's got a be gun. Um... All right, who the hell are the Tars? Uh, okay, Savage Furious Cannibals. Ooh. All right, ye nasty black crap. What can we do? Uh, <laughs> thanks for the warning, officer. Bye. Or, yeah. Blah, blah, yeah, you knew that might not mention. All right. Wow, I guess I should go back and tell the cake. Can I steal your truck, man? Would that be like cool and stuff? No. Yeah, it would appear the shadow parts you can't actually go on. So interesting way of. Uh, I had swore something come hopping up on the beat. Oh, here we go. I wonder if it's just an energy thing or what. But yeah, you definitely. Okay, come to a stop. He will when he gets to where the last place I tapped. There we go. Bye. Whee. See, I'm not 100% sure what allows you to switch between the walking and running mechanic at the moment. Whoever, if we go all the way back here, go see our buddy. As I say, there's... I don't know. I, I can't find traps. Maybe you just have to be at a complete stop or something. Alright, let's get over here and tell our friend what's going on. Uh, so where's the loot? No time for loot. The tours are coming. I'll explain everything on the way to Bukta. Okay. And... Oh, if you clicked on that earlier, it would have told you it wasn't a very good bloody idea. So here we are. I can assume this is uh, Bukta. What she got to say? I already know everything. <laughs> I already know everything. Well, there's just no point talking to you then, is there? Let's face it. Well, so, uh, our people left half an hour ago. Alright, what about you? Why are you still here? I have to wait for the fishermen. They'll be back tomorrow night. These guys don't know anything about the danger. Hmm. Naughty girl having fun with a whole bunch of fishermen while their wives are away must be the dream of every village slut. <laughs> wow, how to make friends and influence people. All right. We don't have people and weapons. We can't hold on till the army arrives. What's your plan? We can't lose a single minute. Leader wants a small group of people to go to force that as a reinforcement. The boys are waiting for you in a village. Okay, you know the area. Go through Black Estuary Salt Mine, but watch out. There's a lot of scum in, oh, a lot of scums in the wasteland. Okay, I think we could make it. Alright. So we have a new quest here. Just disappeared. Reach Force Trat. Or whatever the heck that was. Anything I can uh, clicky, clicky, bangy, bangy? No? Alright. Do, 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 do. Run, boy, run, run, run away. Okay. Hmm. 
one would assume this is for strat. I would assume these are the boys that are waiting for me. Hmm. So let's say the art style is nice. I mean, the textures are not super high res. You know, you can see things like this bit of tin shack is probably cut out of a wall of another one. And but that's okay. It seems to suit. You know, the animations are decent. In fact, they're really decent. Um, all things considered. And uh, all in all, a pretty good game. But I think that's going to be our first look. Well, I don't want to go too far into here and spoil things in case you guys would rather pick the title up and have a look yourself. But if you do want to see more of it, uh, feel free to leave a comment, but more especially hit the like button. And then I'll know that it's something you guys are interested in seeing. Now this is an RPG type survival game. I don't think there's a lot of crafting involved, but I could be wrong. If we, uh, yeah doesn't appear to be tab ring <coughs> doesn't appear to be the uh, we do have a map but it's not exactly huge down here I would assume that's okay there's the little tiny green dot would be where we're standing there's the ship we came in on <laughs> it's down here all the time you can also just click at it to bring it up and then re-shrink it um, so far I haven't seen that, oh, okay, this will also bring up this screen. Um, this seems to have gone back to your name as opposed to my name, but that's all right. So, anyway, that's been a quick look at Crimera. As I say, it is a new release available on, oh, available on Steam. And, uh, well, I'm going to play a bunch more of it. If you guys want to see more, well, let me know. Until then, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.